Am I ready? Well, obviously, you know, great SEC game. Um, you know, two, I think, outstanding defenses. Um, ours uh, was better in the second half. Um, I think they had six possessions, and I think they punted, you know, three times. And I know they had a field goal. We had the interception. I think one, one on down. So just a, you know, a classic, um, you know, battle of two really good defenses. And then, you know, um, guys making plays in the second half. Jaden Daniels made a lot of plays for us uh, in the second half. Um, you know, receivers stepping up, the back step up. Um, and, and what was evident to me was our physical conditioning uh, in the third and fourth quarter. We were able to control the line of scrimmage. Um, and, you know, when everybody knew we needed to run the football, um, I know I was asked this question several times, um, we, we ran the football effectively and we were able to close out the football game. And that's, that's what you have to do, and, and we were able to do that effectively. So really excited. Our guys are, uh, are gritty. They're, they, they were down in the game. They never questioned whether they could come back. Uh, and we're building that kind of mindset. And if they keep working hard and keep doing the things the right way, um, we just want to be a better team in November. So if we can incrementally keep working at it, and uh, get this team better in November, this can be a pretty good football team. So with that, we'll open up to questions. Brian, you talked this week about you play complimentary football against the air raid and all that. Was there ever a moment kind of the offense was struggling to get going that you were a little bit worried uh, about the defense taking the heat and tired and getting out? Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we were... We were putting him in some compromising positions. That's why we went forward in some fourth down situations. We needed to stay on the on the field. Um, you know, we had four penalties, uh, procedure penalties early on. It, so we were shooting ourselves in the foot. I knew we were going to settle down and play better football. It was just a matter of that we had to play great on defense, and we did early on to kind of stem the tide until we started playing better. We, uh, we went to a two-minute tempo right before the half. Obviously, that worked very well for us. We were able to get on the board and kind of get some momentum going into halftime and then, you know, obviously carried that throughout the second half. Uh, Coach, here on the left, um, defense obviously played great. What was Matt House's kind of philosophy or game plan going into this one? Yeah, we had talked about it. Um, you know, the most important thing is you can't give them uh, a pre-snap look that is comfortable. Uh, and I think our, our players did an incredible job of following through with a game plan that, that gave them a pre-snap look and it changed uh, post-snap. And um, that's the players being disciplined. Um, that's uh, mixing up calls. Uh, we played a lot of man on the back. We did not give them free um, dump offs to the back, which gets them in really favorable down and distance situations and forces them to execute the ball down the field, which you know, they hadn't shown that they were going to push it vertically that far. So um, I think the kids did a great job of executing the game plan, and Matt did a great job with the staff of putting together the kind of disguises necessary to go against the air raid. Coach, we kind of saw the run game open up around the fourth quarter. Do you think the struggle with the run game in those first three quarters were due to, you know, the offensive line just needing time to, you know, mesh and get their reps in? It's a very good defense that we're playing. Uh, you saw there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of stunting. There's a lot of blitzing. Um, you know, we're playing two true freshmen at the tackles positions. Uh, I think that might be um, our third lineup change um, this year. Um, so continuity is important on the offensive line. There's a lot of calls. Um, so continuity is important. Uh, but I would say physical conditioning was really huge in the second half for us, and we were able to really move them off the ball late. Coach, talk about the adjustment you made in the in the second half. It seemed like y'all went to like a quick step drop with Jaden to get the ball out of his hands quicker. I mean, uh, there's something y'all talked about at halftime or what? Yeah, so a couple of things. First of all, we went into some seven-man protection. We left the tight end in, um, uh, some max protection. The ball came out quicker. There's no doubt about that. We wanted to make sure that 
uh, we protected him. You also saw we, we sprinted out on some key situations, came up with some big plays in third down. We had another fourth down, which we didn't convert. The ball came out flat uh, on one roll where we rolled left. Um, but those are some of the adjustments we made. Um, defensively, it was, it was no major adjustments. Um, we played too trail and got a little too soft, got out of that. But everything else, we kind of kept the same uh, with our defensive structures. Hey, Coach, uh, seven and a half minutes left to go in the game. You had a one-point lead, fourth and three at their 34, and Jaden makes a big throw to Malik. What did you see on that play? What did that play mean in the victory today? Well, that was a huge play, obviously. Uh, they had been giving us enough man that, that on one side of the formation in the two-by-two, two, we had a man beater. On the other side, we had a zone concept with the back. So we were going to flood a zone if it was if it was zone or quarters. And on the other side, it was uh, – you know, a one-on-one -on -one with Malik um, with a lot of field to work with. Um, so Jaden did a really good job recognizing the man coverage, put the ball out there. The first couple of throws down the left side, he opened up. I reminded him that he was getting a little bit open and voiding his shoulders. He came back, tightened it up, threw a beautiful ball. Malik makes a nice catch. Hey, Coach, right up front. Um, you know, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but two true freshmen playing tackle and two sophomores playing guard for you guys. Just, I know, Penalties are something you want to get cleaned up, but yeah. just how would you assess the overall performance of those guys? Yeah, I mean, it's really good. I mean, some of the penalties were, um, you know, we, we thought we had somebody in the neutral zone. They saw it differently. Um, we had a tough day with the clock. Um, we'll, we'll, that'll be a Monday meeting. Um, so <laughs> we'll see what happens there. Um, so we had a clock that w we thought was coming down, and, and, and then they, they move it back up. The guys were a little anxious. So we, we can fix those and clean those things up. But they all in all, to have two true freshmen, two young guys, the third starting lineup we have, I'm really pleased with what they did tonight. Brian, how far have you come in 13 days? <laughs> uh you know, I, I said this, I think, at the press conference. The one thing I know about this group for certain, and we're still trying to learn more about each other every day, is, is they're fighters. They'll fight. And we saw that against Florida State. Uh, you know, we were obviously very talented going against a, a Southern team. Um, that probably wasn't a great glimpse. But I knew that they would fight tonight. Um, the areas that we have to get better at is we have a standard of, of preparation that has to get better each and every week. And if we continue to work towards that standard of preparation, they're going to be pretty good. Um, but it's going to take – it's not easy. Um, and, and I think they're starting to believe that. Um, winning helps. Um, so if we can continue on that realm, um, I think this team can continue to get better. Coach, the comfortability of Malik and Jaden. He just seems – they seem like they have a connection there. Yeah, I mean, he, he likes finding them. Um, you know, we had him – we had a third down situation where uh, – I don't know if you, you saw an overthrow where we had to settle for a field goal. Um, Malik got the signals cra crossed up, but he was looking for Malik in that situation. He was on a Z score and we ran a different route. But um, he does feel comfortable getting the ball to him. Um, you know, we'll get it to Kayshawn, too. You know, he gets a little bit more coverage and help over the top. So, you know, Malik's the beneficiary of it. So it's it's much more about uh, Kayshawn sometimes gets the double coverage, which leaves Malik in a really good situation, and Jaden sees that. Coach, you said that moving Jay Ward to the nickelback position was a natural fit for him. Obviously, we saw that tonight. How did you identify that? What characteristics does he have that make him better at that position than safety? Yeah, playing him low um, and, and giving him the, the opportunity to run fit. He had 15 tackles tonight. Um, he was outstanding. He was all over the place. You know, one of the things we were concerned was the ball getting outside. It got outside him one time where, you know, he got a little over aggressive, um, but he was all over the place. And, and it's just the position itself where he can be involved in the physicality instead of being a deep player in the middle of the field. That's really the difference between where he is now. Coach here in the back. Um, obviously a big credit to your defense tonight, but would you say that Roy falling on the muff punt would be the turning point of the game, or what's your perspective on that? Yeah, I mean, I think there are a number of different, you know, things that we could look to. Uh, Jacques talked about the, the big fourth down uh, conversion to, to Malik. Um, you know, I, I think, uh, 
you know, putting the game away. Uh, but that certainly was a momentum builder. I think the score right before the half was crucial. You know, getting something on the board and building momentum with the group so they had something where we could say, hey, you, we didn't play great on offense, but now we're right in it. So I think there are a number of moments that you could look to. But certainly, um, you know, we got one back there, certainly. I believe you started 0 for 8 on third downs tonight, then went 6 for 7. I know you got to credit the players, but what did you see with the calls and kind of how you changed that third down game plan? Yeah, um, paralysis by analysis maybe. Um, early on, uh, we went faster. We, we kept seven-man protections, uh, simplified it, maybe got a little too cute early on and uh, kept it a little bit simpler. Um, moving forward in those third down conversions and, 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 and got the ball out quicker and we got some run after the catch, you know, instead of trying to get to the markers. Good. All right. Thank you.